guys, it is Hannah here with you from Lyrics from the Throne Room of Heaven. So guys, you guessed it, I got some fresh lyrics for you tonight from none other than the purest Holy Spirit of the Living God. And this one, all of the songs that my Father blesses me with, they're so awesome and powerful and impactful and they reflect his love for everyone but this one this one hits hits those places that you don't want anyone to see that you're ashamed of because it reminds us particularly those who are in Christ it reminds us where Abba has brought us from and all that we owe to his blessed gospel in our lives. We owe everything to the gospel. Everything. So guys, I hope that it blesses you. And it is called So Not Ashamed. So Not Ashamed of the Gospel of Jesus Christ. And I hope it empowers you. I hope it encourages you. I hope it points you back towards Abba. For those of you who've been feeling as though you've been waning in faith and you've not been as close with Abba as you used to, just remember that he desires time with you and he loves nothing more than intimacy with you. So please return to your beloved and enjoy his love that he has for you that grows deeper and deeper by the moment okay guys oh and if you're watching this and you're not yet a believer i would like to encourage you i encourage you strongly especially in these times to consider seriously consider giving your heart giving your life to christ you have nothing to lose and you have life abundantly in Christ. And furthermore, you will experience all that he has for you. You cannot experience his purpose, his will for you outside of him. You can only experience that when you accept his gift of salvation and you become one with him and you rest in and with him. Okay, guys. So be blessed. Beloved the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the glory of God unto It's a no how the gospel breeds peace, it removes every weight, it guides us into the arms of the Father, shaping our hearts and our spirits, protecting and equipping. A gripping us, so not ashamed, so not ashamed of the gospel of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the glory of God. Unto
Ending us, it's our love. All the gospel proves it fuels us each and every day. Oh, how it produces spiritual fruit. Therefore, I'm not. Oh, and I know you're not. You're not ashamed either. Oh, so not ashamed, so not ashamed of the gospel, of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's it's the glory of God unto us it's a new the gospel has saved my life has it saved yours too the gospel is guiding my steps and it's helped me to be who the Father would have me to be. Who the Father would have you to be. Who that means, no matter what I face, I got a hope that does not In the blessed rock, the rock of Jesus. So not ashamed, so not ashamed of the gospel of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. of Jesus Christ. It is the glory of God on salvation to everyone that believes granting us and it's a new hope. So not ashamed, so not ashamed of the gospel, of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the glory of God. To salvation is to everyone that believes, granting us eternal hope to everyone that believes. Oh, if you believe in him. You've got eternal hope. Oh, 
home to everyone that believes granting us it's a new home my brothers my sisters in Christ as children of God we can we can literally rejoice now we don't have to wait until we get to heaven our father is so amazing just this past week i was in a pickle so to speak and i couldn't i only could have seen past it through my face eyes and Abba had to remind me, Hannah, you're seeing through carnal eyes. Shift your eyesight. And I said, thank you, Father. And it was only when I shifted and I said, my God can do anything. Why am I even faced? I can go ahead and celebrate. The victory is mine regardless. The victory is yours regardless. And guys, do you know, as expected, my father, your father, he came through. He showed up and he delivered. And yet again, he reminded me, my daughter, I have you. I desire my best for you. He desires his best for you. Don't let the devil lies cause you to ever forget that. Our Father wants the very best for you. So that means even right now, if you're in a situation that is unhealthy, that is not your Father's best, you can go before Him, humbly of course, and you say, My Father, this is not your best for me. Please direct me to your best for me. And I promise you, as long as you stay Focus on him through lens of faith, resting in him and standing on his word, you will see. You will see that which you're praying for. And if it's his best for you, oh, you will see it. Certainly. So be encouraged. And let's rejoice now. Let's rejoice now and let us never be ashamed. We're living in a time where as children of God, it, it seems as though we're put on the back burner, way at the back. And we're called all kinds of names but a child of God. But no matter, because we have an eternal hope that outweighs anything that this world can ever offer. So do not ever be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. That means if you got a praise, in front of millions of unbelievers, do so. That means if you have to share of your father's goodness and you're surrounded by atheists, do so. Don't allow no rocks to cry out in your name, in your place. And give God the glory that is due him because he never ceases to be good. Therefore, we should never cease pouring out praise, worship, adoration unto him. Be blessed, guys. Be encouraged in the Lord and never be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Take care.